What's up guys, so the story behind this video is that I wanted to play a bit of Chinaros since I almost never do, so as soon as I logged in I heard some heavy gunshots coming from the forest of Electro, so I just had to investigate, see what happens. So as soon as I killed this guy, I assumed that he had some friends in the area, so I wanted to be fast about looting. I arrived just in time to see him running around, because he managed to fire 4 or 5 times with his M40 before I got there, so it was good for me to have caught him just as he was about to leave. As this was my first time of finding the USMC M40A5, I decided I was going to test it for a bit, and then move away from Electro before someone stumbles upon my location.
So I was afraid that something like this would happen and this outlaw start right at my bush and I was lucky that he didn't see me. I didn't want to kill him and raise any more suspicion, so I just wanted to get out of there as fast as I could. I wanted to explore Chernaris all around, but I also wanted to shoot my newly acquired rifle. So after roaming the map for quite some time, I made my way to Chernogorsk. So after this guy had lead to his death, I decided to continue my journey and check out Baloda airfield. So as I didn't want to get too close to the runway, I stayed back at a good distance and I wanted to get rid of any campers inside the air traffic control tower. I did manage to spot at least one guy, but with him constantly moving around prone, and with the fog and trees obscuring my vision, it was going to be a very difficult shot, so I had to wait.
So after a good meal and some celebration, I decided to continue going north and towards the northwestern airfield. I had finally arrived at the airfield and I first wanted to scout the surrounding forest for any contact before venturing any further into the danger zone. I do not really know this place very well, so I had to be extra careful. I started snooping around the northwestern portion of the forest first. So my search was not in vain, I could have been in a lot of trouble if I had not spotted this guy. He did have a silenced DMR after all. My visit to the northwestern airfield was pretty successful and I'll make sure to visit this place more often. This concludes this episode folks, I really hope you enjoyed it and I will try and post more videos from Chinaris more often if you did like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.